morning, Coach. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. I got some rods here for us. I got some fly reels here for us. I see that. Yeah. I see that. These will be used to catch tarpon. Go ahead and grab it. That sucker is strong. We used this in Wyoming or Montana, we'd pull their heads off. Yeah, that's right. We wouldn't have anything but heads. We're gonna take that reel off of that rod and put it on this one, Coach. Because this is a little bit kind of an over overkill. I just happen to have this reel on this rod. See, this is this is a, a 12 weight, 11-12. That's the line that I have on here. And then what I like to do, Coach, is have two or three rods set up already in the boat with some flies, can, you know? Can you put that on for left-handed retrieve? Is that real, or is that right-handed retrieve? Okay. Yeah, I'd have fun. to get inside the reel. Yeah, I know, the right. I didn't thought maybe that, because it was on left-handed the other yeah, way. I yeah. thought maybe it was, so. Do you reel? Which do you prefer? But I always use left-hand, but I can do it that way. Okay. That's no problem. The reason why, why we use them here, or I use them here in uh, uh, saltwater, uh, right hand is that uh, a lot of these fish take out, you know, 100 yard, 200 yard, yard run, turn around, come back. And so for you to wind that line back in with your uh, undominant hand, and then the fish takes off again, then you wind 100 yards in. By the time that's all done, you know, if you have to really, really use that much energy with this hand, this hand's exhausted. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to use that with energy you. with your dominant yeah. hand, you know. And that's the reason. But I, but I really, I real cutthroat in like that all the time, Mose. Well, I mean, I know you get tired after a five-yard run, you know, <laughs> winding all that line. <laughs> yeah. The Spanish Fly is brought to you. If it's a really big school in deeper water, you can just kind of flip it in there and try try to get it to land soft, you know? Uh -huh. Flip it right in, right, you know, behind the lead fish and just try to get it to land real soft. And then just let it sit there. But if fish were coming along this way, uh -huh. I wouldn't want to throw in them because I wouldn't want to cut them off before he got them. Well, but the thing is, you know, they're, they're, you know, I mean, there comes a point. If they're coming like this, yeah, coach, when they're is, coming right at the coach is not going to be able to get them. Yeah. And they're going to make the boat and bounce off the boat, he's not gonna get a shot. Now, if they come in down there yeah. and make the turn in to the right like they did yesterday, uh -huh. you know, you remember there were several schools that bounced off the boat. Bounced right in here, Right, yeah. and then bounced around the boat, okay? So, so in the, that scenario, I would encourage you to throw, you know, let's get a, fi a fish hooked up. Mm -hmm. Let's not waste our schools. And then if, they, if they're angled a little more downwind, you know, and coach can get at them, then, then uh, Let's do that, you know. I think, you know, I think we ought to take advantage of each shot mm -hmm. that we get individually, given given that we have it. You know, I mean, we have really crappy visibility right now, you know. And uh, uh, you see how much glare there is on the surface, you mm -hmm. know, the reflection of all that light. 
So, um, you know, we're not going to see him, Jer, until they bounce off the boat, literally, just about. So, yeah. you know, we might might want to have, you know, rods. Oh, there's a fish. Drop it, drop it. Good shot, good shot. Strip, strip, coach. Strip, 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 strip. He's right in him. Strip, 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 strip. You had a boil? Oh, I saw the boil. Strip. Oh, my God, look at them all here. You want me keep to throw out in there? Y yeah, I would. Keep stripping, coach. Do keep I pick stripping. it up again? Uh, you no, know, keep stripping. Jerry, point where you're pointing your rod, long cast. Here left, long cast, long cast. Good shot, good shot. Let's see what they do. Keep, coach, throw it back out there again. A little further. Take your time now. Take your time. Don't change the cast just because there's fishies here. Get it in there, coach. Come on. They still out there? Uh, I don't know, Jerry. I can't see him at all. No, I couldn't see him either until the fly landed. Coach, you were right in him. You had a fish come up and boil right on your fly. Okay, Jerry, he's probably on the bottom. Yeah, he is. Okay. Did you see it, Coach? No, you I see, didn't. You didn't no. see the boil? I saw the boil. Yeah. I never saw any fish. Those well, you know, his. Low. I was, I was, remember I was saying they're, they're going to come up and we're, they're going to basically bounce off the boat. His fly landed. And uh, I look, I look five feet to the left of his fly, and there's there's a fish, you know. And then I look a little further, and there's like four or five. And then there was a school about twenty there, actually. Okay, right in front of you, right in front of you, coach. Right Same there. Here. See the boil? Okay, hold on. on. Wait for me, coach. I'll turn the boat around. Okay, go. Aim right for the boat in front of us, coach. Nice long cast, Jerry. You cranking fast? And go, coach. Go. All right, try it, try it, nice and easy. Go, Jerry, you catch me on his fly, same direction. Take it in, Jerry, you need to go right between us and the boat in front of us. Pick there it up, right there. Oh, no, no, keep getting, no, strip, oh. strip, strip, coach, oh. Okay, Jerry, try it. Strip it, coach, strip it. Try it again, coach, you were, you were perfect. Yeah. Okay, no, no, there's a school between me and the right-hand tip of that island in, uh, right at 12 o'clock, but you did see another school out yeah, there. Yeah, right. I well, thought I saw a fish right there. How far? Uh, about two casts away. Two casts away? Uh-huh. Did you tell which way he was going? Yeah, it looked like they were coming here. Okay. It looked like they were coming right at us. I, I don't see him again. I just saw him come up and roll again. When you, when you go out, a lot of times you can want a certain particular thing as much as you can, but if the, the ocean doesn't give it to you, it's not going to help you. So a lot of times you got to be a little flexible in, in what it is you want. For example, say we wanted to go tarpon fishing, and you have a good tarpon tide in the morning. Well, then you go and you do your tarpon thing, and and hopefully you know get a fish. Hopefully when the tide's moving strong, you know you got high tide, the water's flowing out good. You know, the fish are moving through, you got a shot. But then say the water gets too low on the flats, you know, and those fish are way, way out, where you can't pull and you really can't maneuver after them. And then you gotta think, okay, what do I know at this tide that's good? So I have certain little places that I just fish tide like. Um, we wanted tarpon, but I knew one spot that at the lowest low of the falling tide or the current ripping, uh, there was a place where there's big schools of permit. It's a little deeper water, and uh, there's a little structure there that holds the fish. And just through experience and being there enough times, you know, it's just it's a little window of opportunity. It's only maybe an hour long. You know, I know that the tide is perfect for this one hour, okay, and can, the sun's right, the light's right, everything's right. So we go, and you get set up, you set up your drift, you know, and you look, and you look, and then all of a sudden you see the permit flashing or moving. Uh, Jerry, I mean, uh, Jerry, crank it in fast, fast, fast as you can reel. Here's a whole flock of them. They're far. And they're make your long, long, long pass, and you grab. And uh, uh, you just try to cast it right, right in the middle of the Right in, right in. And then you right look, in. because a lot of times they'll bite, and they'll swim to you. You'll never feel a thing. Okay, lift, lift, you, you lift, look, you look, you see one eat it. Okay, wind up, and you wind up, and you set the hook. And off to the race as you go. That yeah. fish is on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one rush out of the school and make a beeline right for the crab. I could watch him eat the crab right on the surface. There's still about 50 of them with your fish. And, and this is a permit? That's, yeah, huh? that's a permit. Uh huh. You sure haven't caught a, a blue, a shell crack? No, this. I don't think this is a bluegill. It might be a crappy, <laughs> you know, but. but uh, <laughs> I see 
you about There's a whole bunch of fish with mine. Yeah. See them all, Coach? Yeah. I don't know why this guy hasn't taken off yet. Because he's, he's worried. He says, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the ace has got me. <laughs> and look, there's hose above him coaching him. I have no chance. Uh, I haven't gained an inch on no, this fish. No, nor will you, I don't think, for a little bit. Jerry, you know what I might be tempted to do is follow him a little bit. Okay. Because... Um, Look at the look at the, the fish on top of yeah, right. yeah, the permit still, right there. They're coach. still feeding out there. You can still see him up there, right on the surface, just he's, flipping he's, and eating. He's on something now. Dang it! Is he? Yeah. Well, I can feel it sliding across. Oh, here, let's just take it easy. Let me get on him. Going up to get up. He's off. Oh, he broke man. it off. See, he was he was hung on something. Yeah. He was hung on something. Shoot. Okay, that's okay. They're still up there. We got a line up on them. Well, that's a big dude right there. Whew. Okay, here's a whole school right down, right down, uh, uh, 20 feet right here. Right, right, drop it, coach. Don't cast, don't cast any further. Good, right there, right there. Open your bail, Jerry. I scared him. I got okay, wine, 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 wine more. Wine more. He's right over the wreck. He's in a bad spot. Line up high. Doesn't act like a permit. It's a permit. Trust me. He's up, hose. Okay, Jerry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right over him. Okay, because he's too close to this lobster trap. Well, he so is close to. I want to be straight up and down on that fish. Look at him go to that lobster yeah. trap. You're on him now. Okay. Let's see if I can steer him a little bit here. Bear with me. Look at him. How does he know that's there? Uh, who knows? They're strange fishies in that regard. He's right over this. Uh... Okay, that's okay. As long as we're straight up and down, we're living. Okay, this is going to be a bad scenario here. Watch out, watch out. Let me see what's going on. Okay, well, he's probably under it. Jerry, come on this side of it. Come on this side of it. I have no choice, man. Okay, that's all right. Now, we'll go behind this lobster trap, down turn. Okay. Okay. And then... I've cleared the fish. Okay, good. Good job, pal. Good job. Let's just stay right here. I can see him in the water. Good save there, Jerry. Good, good save, man. That's the way to do it. A barracuda right next to him too. Has anybody ever seen the fish? Huh? I just think I saw him a second ago, Jerry. Oh yeah, there he is, boy. He's beautiful, Coach. Yeah. Look yeah. at him. Uh huh. Pretty, huh? I'm you gonna ready? shut off. Yeah, he's probably gonna we take a couple it. more surges, Jerry. Just so just take it easy on him. There you go. There you go. Come on, on this side. Look at that. Isn't that the prettiest thing you've ever yeah. seen? If you look down in the water, see him. They are just so gorgeous. Boy, there are a lot of fish. Yeah, they are. Okay. Hi, guy. Hi, little fella. Gotcha. Woo! Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Isn't that neat? Isn't that great, Jer? Take oh, a look at man, him. Oh, man, it is. I can get this out sure. real fast. See what I was saying about the white, white lips? You can well, really... I I thought I could. Yeah, there it goes. There, there you go. go. Good job. See, they got those white lips, and then if you look at the tail, you see that black ridge on their tail? That's what I was saying sticks out when they're tailing, when, when they're tailing up shallow water coat. It's beautiful. Yeah, and you got that real pretty yellow spot in the bottom, that mm. black ridge. Jared, what say we let this guy have his freedom, huh? Out of here. All right, little guy. Thanks for the dance. In the small reels, you know, you, we're talking about fish that, that, that scream some lying, you know, like a, a, a 10 pound bonefish is going to smoke you for, for, you know, anywhere from 50 to 100 yards. So even on reels this size, you need a fair amount of backing. Okay? You need to keep the diameter so when the fish turns and comes back at you, you can wind in fairly rapidly. And most importantly, you need a smooth drag, uh, a drag that doesn't. Oh, 
dirt on the way out because every time that rod jerks, uh, it's like taking a piece of monofilament and jerking like that. Monofilament doesn't doesn't do very well on a jerk. For example, if I took this this line, okay, all right, and say the fish is running out fast, went like that, okay. See how quickly that broke? This line's 20 pound test, but it didn't break at 20 pounds. It broke less than 20 pounds. Now, I'll take that same line, okay, and go nice and slow. <clears throat> See how much more effort it took to break that? Now, the same thing applies if you have a jerky drag. You know, the fish is running away from you, and your drag is going zzz, zzz, zzz. It's the same thing as going like that, that impact. It'll pop your line. Whereas if you have a smooth drag, that the fish all of a sudden zzz, takes off on a fast, hard, aggressive run, the reel doesn't have any breakaway torque. The drag lets go of the line instantly at a, at a preset uh, um, attention. You won't, you'll have the ability of that line to maintain its stretch and give you the full 20 pound test per line. The Spanish fly you know, everybody has uh, a cast that seems to work for them. Everybody, you know, one, one guy can do a roll cast better, one guy can false cast pretty good to get his line out. Other fellows are better casting the, the line in the water, using the water to load the rod, making another false cast, letting the line hit the water, and doing it again. It's called the water cast. And um, Coach seemed to do much, much better in getting the line out. He could false cast very nicely, but the problem is he couldn't get any line out in time. In other words, it would take him too many false casts to get enough distance out. So, so the cast that seemed to work for him was laying the line on the water and doing a water cast. You know, it helps you load the rod easier and get more line out in a quicker period of time. So that seemed to be the cast that worked for him. And, and then I just had him practice that and only that. You know, practice throwing it down one time, picking it up, throwing it down again, shooting 10 feet, picking it up one more time, shooting the last 10 feet, 20 feet. And he did that over, to his credit, I'll tell you, he, he practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. Um, and, and he got the hang of it pretty good, especially that last day. He did a very, very good job with it. Pick it up and throw it 10 feet left and shoot a little line. Good, strip it easy, easy. He looked at it. Try it again, quietly. No, left, coach, left, 10 feet left. Strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it. Strip. Oh, man, oh, just swipe that at right. Swipe. Coach, I'm gonna turn you around hard right, go right, 20 feet right, and shoot it. Okay, wait, strip it. Easy, easy. Whack him! Whack him! Woo -hoo -hoo. Look down, look down, look down, look down! Let go, let go of it, coach. Let go of it, let go of it. Wine, 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 wine. Okay, let go of the handle and, and set again. Let go of the handle. <laughs> set again, coach. A couple times hard. There you go. I think you good now. Oh, that was kind of like fun. Yeah. You notice Coach is really quiet right now. He's in full <laughs> concentration mode. He is. <laughs> Another good job of fishing. What do you he think, is, Bobby? He's going to take off like the Manhattan Limited going through Burton City here in just a second. <laughs> there he goes. This guy never misses, Hose. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jer. He never misses. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. Actually, he had a, well, he didn't have a strike, but there's a fish, a fish come came rolled at you, yeah, see him? he short bit it. He short bit it. I think he just kind of came up and saw the boat, Jer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Boy, and that reminds me, that's just like a big red ear in Doc Moses Lake. Yeah. Yeah, a lot like that. Pretty neat, huh? It's nice to have caught one or two of them, and you can kind of then be a little rougher on them, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I've just never felt anything on a rod like this, so I don't know how much to 
pressure to put on them with the rod. Uh -huh. You can really refine them, Coach. You know, uh, if you ever get a chance to tie a five-pound weight to the end of the... Woo! See ya. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever tie a five-pound weight to the end of your fly rod and just lift that off the, off the ground, that's just five pounds of drag, and you'd be amazed how hard it is just to lift five pounds of dead weight straight off the ground. You ready for them? Let me grab them. Yeah, if you, can, right. you got any chance of getting them. Okay, coach, assume the position. Thank you. Coach, hit my head. Thank you. Doesn't like that hair going for me. Just give it to me. Just open your mouth. <laughs> All righty. Got it. Now, we have a little tip to get out of the way. And we have a fly buried deep in the gaping maw. You're a tarpon fishing dude, aren't you? Huh? Well, I'm a mon He's turned me into a monster here. Can it help you hose you OK? No, no problem, no. I got it. Just need to have him hold still for just a second. I'm just trying to be real gentle in here, Jerry, because I don't want to hurt his gills, you know? There we go. Yeah, just let him go. He did a good job, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. Coach, he's a little smaller than the other one. See you, fella. A little smaller, but just as fun. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. God, we just ripped these tips. <laughs> 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 Hey, listen, I was talking about going earlier. Yeah. Is that okay now? Home. We got no more rods to use. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>